Hello and welcome to the Infinite Learnopedia channel. This video is about DFD. I have already shared few videos on how to draw UML diagrams. Draw.io is a handy tool which helps to draw diagram effortlessly. Check out the videos on UML diagrams. Link is given in description below. Let's begin with the video. Draw.io is a convenient tool which lets you to draw unified modeling language diagrams that is UML. As in this video I will be talking about DFD. DFD is the abbreviation for data flow diagram. In the search box type draw.io This is the link for the tool. In my previous video, I have shared how to draw diagram using create new diagram option. In this video, I shall use open existing diagram. You can choose open existing diagram if you have, if you already have one diagram. If you don't have diagram, use the first option. Select your diagram. Click open. So this is my existing diagram. I have already shared video on this that is on class diagrams. As this page is occupied by class diagram into the below panel there is option to add pages. Use plus sign to add page. To save the changes click on save option with the help of plus sign you can insert pages dfd is the abbreviation for data flow diagram the flow of data of a system or a process is represented by dft towards the left panel here are different shapes under shapes first covers general shapes and Below are other shapes like flowchart, entity, UML and such others. In this video we will require UML and entity relation shapes. DFD uses defined symbols like rectangles, circles, arrows and such others. In this video I will try to make a small DFD. This is a DFD for library management system. Let's begin with level 0. For level 0, we require circle, rectangles, arrows. This is the circle. Next is line. Next step to insert text, select the shape, click arrange, under arrange, into insert, select text, drag the text box and type your text. To apply formatting, double click the text. You can apply formatting such as font size bold, italic, underline and other formattings. Increase the size. Next element is entity. To add more text, select shape. Click arrange, under arrange. Choose insert and text. Add your text. Select the text. To apply formatting and accordingly choose size. Next element of the diagram is entity. Under entity relation, here is entity. Click to add. To add more, again click on entity. Double click to add text. Similar way to the left side. Next element is arrows. 
which indicates the direction of flow and data stores. Under general, choose arrows or you can even choose arrows under UML with text. For example, this one. Double click to add text. You can also use copy paste option. Use keyboard arrow keys, up and down arrow keys. Double click to add text. This is the final zero level DFD for library management system. The purpose of a DFD is to show the scope and boundaries of a system. It provides information about the outputs and inputs of each entity and the process itself. You can draw level one and level two as well using this tool. To add more elements like table, you can use line. This video covers all about zero level DFD. Similar way you can create level 1 and level 2 also. Surely this video will help you with UML diagram. Do not forget to hit the red subscribe button and give a thumbs up to this video. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.